Now let's go ahead and finish all the address related routes. Now I have done couple of things here before recording this lecture. So I have created three controllers, uh, the boilerplate add address, which is used to like uh, add the address of a user, delete address and the list address. And apart from that, what we have done is, uh, we have created a separate routes folder for the user, routes file for the user where I have used all three controllers here. So slash address, slash address, colon id and then get route with the address so this is all in place now uh, just let's first uh, finish this controller which is the add address controller so for this first we need to create a schema so in the users.ts let's say export const address schema which is equal to z dot object so for the address, what we need is, uh, we need line one. It will be Z dot string. Apart from this, we need line two. It will be also Z dot string, but uh, it can also be nullable. Apart from this, we need pin code it will be z dot string and it will be of length 6 so the pin code here are of 6 length so i'm just keeping it as 6 apart from that we need country which will be simply z dot string and i guess what we have we have a city as well city and user id okay so city will be also of type string and then we have user id of type number okay so we have address schema in place now what we want to do is first uh, we will say address schema dot parse request dot body so it's parsed now first we want to fetch the user so we want to wrap it inside try catch because a user may or may not exist new not found exception and we will say user not found and the error code will be error code dot user not found okay so it will be full stop and inside try first we will say let's create a variable of user it will be of type user so we are using typescript so let's utilize the types as well so user will be await prisma client dot user dot find first or through where id is request dot body dot user id so we have user in place now what we want to do is we want to say const address is equal to await prisma client dot address dot uh, create and inside create we want to pass data which will be request dot body and for user we will have user dot id and we will simply say response dot json and address not our add address simple address okay so it should work let's give it a try uh, let's go to the postman and uh, create a new folder here and we'll say it as users now duplicate this request and drag this request to the user so that we can have a template of the request and now change the name to add address 
and in the API we have to say it users and address so it's a post API in the body you can say nothing and let's hit send you can see that the validation is working fine now what we want to do is we want to say line one so I live in C six six seven one line two will be let's say parking road and city let's say Delhi country is India and in the pin code let's say one two three four now let's hit send okay so pin code is uh, different and apart from that what we are saying uh, user id we need a user id as well okay so let's say user id one or maybe let's say 51 i guess uh, the 51 user id exists so we have this let's hit send so the pin code validation is also working fine so it says user not found okay so at least we have surpassed the validation request dot body dot user id it's fine i guess okay so 51 user obviously does not exist so let's try with one it still says user does not exist so i just need to go to the users tab and okay the id is 8 9 and 10 so my bad so we will say 8 now it says uh, prisma validation error so it's an unhandled exception so let's see what the issue is in the tab okay uh, seems like there is some issue so let okay so the issue was in the user we are assigning user.id so it will be user id so we need to assign user id to this variable now let's see if it's working or not now it's working fine so add address is working fine but here is an issue for example uh, we are taking a user id as a request dot body but this is not ideal obviously so what we want to do is we want to extract the user from the auth token itself so because if someone is authenticating and using our app he or she will only be responsible for creating its own address so there is no point of taking the user id in the request dot body we can simply use the auth middleware and get the user from that auth token so this change we will make in the next lecture so let's see you there